Welcome to the Wolfpack Academy. Tracking the position of your U-boat and the enemy vessels is paramount to your U-boat safety and success. As navigator, you must be attentive to every course change, be able to mark the target range and bearings quickly for your captain and assist in identifying ships. You will man the observation periscope and track threats while the captain focuses on targets. You are in charge of the control room when the captain is on the bridge or in the conning tower. Currently, all of our boats are stationed in the middle of the seas, but in the future there will be assignments for patrols near land where dead reckoning and matching landmarks will be necessary. Your navigation skills will allow your captain to avoid sandbars, block ships, anti-submarine nets, and worst of all, minefields. Hone your skills now. The Reich will need them tomorrow. The navigation table is your main battle station. Although the map can be accessed from any location with the M key, only the nav table station has the sub's heading, speed, and both odometer readings. Above the map table is a depth gauge, speed indicator, and odometer with reset button, compass, and a clock set to local time. The nav map has many tools that you will need to master. This course will cover the basics. Use the right mouse button to drag and reposition the map. The left mouse button will place marks, start lines, and circles. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom and unzoom the view. When playing a game with automatic navigation checked, the U-boat's surface position is updated continually with a black triangle icon. When submerged, the icon is gray and updated periodically. When playing a game with automatic navigation unchecked, the U-boat's position is marked only at the beginning of the mission and does not change. Therefore, it is crucial that you as the navigator mark the position, zero the odometer, and make updates whenever the captain orders a course change. Unless sketch mode is on, all notations on the map by any player should be visible to all players of the U-boat. In the top right corner are the map color tools and the crew color tools. The top toolbar from right to left. To reset the odometer, click the 000, zero, zero icon. Displayed is the current distance traveled and the previous reading. Moving left is the current course and speed. Chart mark options. There are three different types of chart marks. U-boat local time. Chart line options. There are three different types of map lines. Set speed slider for calculating time covered over distance at a given speed. Undo, redo. Reset protractor zero to north, hotkey X. This is useful when using the protractor to set heading and get relative bearings. Commit this hotkey to memory. The buttons from here on are clicked to activate. When selected, they are dark. How to use them will be covered in more detail in the Senior Navigator course. Enter angle before distance. Default state of this option is on. Turn this off if you want to enter the length of lines and circles with your keypad before entering their angle. Show protractor. This should normally be selected. Draw from midpoint. This will create lines that will extend in both directions from the origin. Time mode. This icon has three settings. Off, on with timestamp, and on with calculator to cover distance at given speed. Used in conjunction with the set speed slider, these are the icons for each. Reverse compass. This option lets you draw circles from the circumference instead of the center. Show distance. This notes the distance marked by a line. Show angle. This shows the angle from true zero. Polyline. Holding the shift key will allow you to draw a succession of lines. Snapping. When on, the lines you draw will try to join when close together.
Sketch mode. This will make all map notation visible only to you. On the left toolbar from top to bottom, X is used to make a mark on the map. The line tool. This can be used with the distance, time, and angle settings on or off. The circle tool. The right text tool. The copy line tool. When selected, you can click on any existing line and make a copy that is the same distance and true bearing. Erase. Rotate protractor, hotkey, spacebar. Holding the spacebar will let you rotate the protractor. When you release the spacebar, it will lock the zero where you want it, and X will reset the protractor with zero pointing to north. This is a very useful tool and you will use it a lot. This is one of the hotkeys to memorize. On the bottom left is the map scale. Refer to this quickly to get a sense of the amount of zoom you are viewing the map with. Overall, the depth of seawater is marked on the map. Use the Echo Ranger to get a more precise depth under the keel. It bounces a short sonar signal off the ocean floor to give you an accurate depth under the keel. It has two scales, 0 to 100 meters and 0 to 1000 meters. When the dive officer orders flood, the navigator will open the aft main ballast tank vents. When ordered by the captain, the navigator will use the observation scope to monitor threats and assist in ship identification. When the captain orders that the sub's position be sent via radio to other U-boats, this is how to do it. First, note the grid. In this case, AN4957. Then, select the line tool and activate Show Angle. Draw a line from the bottom left of the grid to your U-boat. Write down the angle number as L42. Then, draw a line from the bottom right to the sub. Write down the angle number as R306. Now, the position will be read as AN4957. L four two R three oh six heading two eight two speed six. When another U boat radios their position, this is how to mark it on the map. First, locate the grid. In this case, AN four nine four nine. Then select the line tool and activate show angle. Draw a line from the bottom left of the grid at the angle provided, in this case, 4, 4. Extend the line to the other side of the grid box. Then, draw a line from the bottom right of the grid at the angle provided. 
Where the lines intersect is the approximate location of the other U-boat. This is the procedure to mark range and bearing when the captain gives you the data. First, mark your sub's position. Then, activate the protractor and show distance. Deactivate show angle before distance. Set the protractor over your sub and mark your heading. Next, use the spacebar to align the zero on the protractor with your heading. Now the protractor will give you relative bearings. When the captain gives you a range and bearing, for example, 4,500 meters, 40 degrees, mark it on the map. When your sub makes a course change, simply use the line tool and click X to reset the protractor to north. Then repeat the step where you put the protractor over your sub and mark your heading followed by using the spacebar to align zero on the protractor with your heading. Here, the captain calls out a new range and bearing. For example, 3200 meters bearing 350 degrees, mark it on the map. More details on how to plot an intercept course are covered in the basic plotting and TDC setup film. This concludes the Navigator training film. Use the link below to take the qualification exam and earn your Navigator qualification certificate. Thank you for playing Wolfpack. Good hunting.